Today on Self-Taught Artist Secrets, I'm going to tell you how much anatomy names you need to know in order to be able to draw like a pro to make your own comic book like this guy did. And the answer is zero. Contrary to what many artists will tell you about learning anatomy and learning those fundamentals, you don't necessarily need to know all the names of everything in order to be able to draw it. The fact that the body can mostly be broken down into simple shapes. Is it good for you over time to learn the fact that the shoulder has like three compartments to it? The bicep and the arm have divisions in them of where the muscle can be stretched. Yeah, that's cool and all, but the truth is, is you don't really need to know where the tibia is, where the humerus is, where the trapezius muscle is in order to be able to draw it. And I know that that daunting task of learning that stuff is what's keeping you from actually trying it out. The most important part is the motion of the human body, because it doesn't matter if you know where all the body parts are, if your drawings are stiff, they're just going to be stiff as hell. And if the task was you having to learn every single thing and every single bone in order to move it, listen, you get a medical degree by the end of it all. Once you start learning how to draw, you're going to understand that motion is more important than just how everything is structured. Perspective is what's going to give your characters that dynamicism that makes the drawings cool in the first place. And besides, most drawings and motion can be broken down to simple stick figures. You ain't gotta draw Jack Skellington every single time. You gotta look up how to draw Tarzan if you want a cartoony way of drawing. Eventually you'll be able to draw badass stuff like this without any reference at all. Now, is it good for you to learn that stuff? Yeah, it's advantageous for you to learn these parts primarily so you can learn how to fix your art. But style over time is going to take over the part of what you know about anatomy once you understand what you are doing and the size and structure of these muscles. Art is a trial and error game. Where over time, you're going to be able to learn just by yourself about what doesn't look right and how to fix it, even without knowing the names of everything.